quality over quantity. That's the tenet of some local bicycle sharing operators as they adapt to a changed landscape. With fewer shared bikes in fewer parts of Singapore, the focus is now on offering a better product. Marcus Tan has more. Most shared bicycles in Singapore are now found in the central, southern and eastern parts of the country. Those are where the largest operator AnyWheel deploys most of its 30,000 strong fleet. It says those areas are where most trips are made and new riders register. Limiting the scope for now also helps them manage operations, such as deploying vehicles to pick up damaged or stranded bicycles. Due to past experience of the, some of the operator last time, uh, it's very important for a company like AnyWheel and like us to be very careful about um, uh, expansion and operation. We have to make sure that if we want to expand, uh, expand uh, more than our fleet size, we have to be able to responsibly uh, handle the fleet without causing any hazard to um, people that don't use our service. Since 2017, AnyWheel has seen how former operators failed to do so and had their licenses cancelled. It witnessed how the industry then shrank. Not every neighbourhood in Singapore has shared bikes readily available, as the shared bike firms are more selective about where they're deployed. They're also more focused on updating their current fleets instead of further rollout. For instance, having child seats on their bicycles. Hello Ride is also looking into lighter bikes with better steering and seats that can be adjusted lower than the norm. As the newest operator in the scene, it's been limited to a thousand bicycles for now, while it proves to authorities that it can operate responsibly. It intends to upgrade to a full operating license to put more bikes on the streets.